the the biggest thing it conjures up is missed opportunities okay so i was introverted had a hard time making friends uh i, I guess i probably had social anxiety all my life but never really pegged it and like my parents probably never knew what was going on they probably just thought eh, kids are all different whatever this one's like that he's like that and no it was it was introversion and, and social anxiety and um just really hard for me to make friends and um you know i look back i look back at all that and yeah, i remember seeing all my friends playing sports and having a good time and whatever it was and people not afraid to stand up speak out you know i remember class clowns and all that stuff and i was like man i can never do that that's just not me all these things and um you know it, it flowed through to adulthood with me the introversion the social anxiety and you know what i mean it, I see a lot of people with that same exact issue. So what I'm here to say is that um, what broke me out of that was having kids myself. We were at the playground uh, one day. My kids were three or four, and we were at the playground. And I said, hey, go play with the other kids, right? And I can see that my kids didn't want to do that. They were just like, whoa, whoa, I'm not talking to strangers. And, and it, it just, something hit me. Like, just, and I was like, you know what? they're not talking to strangers because I'm not talking to strangers. They're not playing with anybody because I'm not playing with anybody. Like, why should I expect them to do things that number one, I'm not doing now. Number two, I didn't do as a kid. So I just sort of put myself in their shoes and I was like, Holy smokes. I don't like talking to people. Um, but if I don't want my kids to be plagued with that same, I'm going to call it a weakness because it kind of is. It hold, it held me back from a lot of opportunities as a kid. So I'm going to call it a weakness. Like if I don't want my kids to inherit that same weakness, I got to just get my crap together. I got to get over this. I got to be a different person. And so like literally that day, I just started that internal process of change. It didn't happen overnight. You know, I'm trying to come to terms freaking you know, years and years of, of introvert and social anxiety. So, but I, I did, I realized like I got to make this change. So I just started started sort of putting in reps on, you know, I'm going to open up at the playground, I'm going to talk to a stranger or um, wherever it is, I'm going to spark a conversation. Um, you know, being involved in Twitter and men's groups and stuff like that has really helped because uh, you sort of meet people like you and people that have made that change. And you're kind of like, ah, you know what, that is possible. I don't have to let these past experiences define who I am and who I'm going to be. I see other people do it. I see other people being like, you know, outgoing and talking. I see other people living life on full send. I'm like, I want that. So, um, but having the men's groups and, and Twitter and, and seeing that and interacting with people and engaging with people, you know, they say, you know, you're the product of the five people, whatever you spend the most time with. It's like, well, and that's true. That's true. And it doesn't have to be physically. It doesn't have to be your own personal network. You know, you spend enough time on like self-improvement Twitter and shoot, you know, I'm not, you got to do the work. Don't get me wrong. But before you know it, you're going to start improving stuff. And so, um, yeah, just just sort of the online community. And uh, like I said, uh, I've been in a couple of in-person men's group events and stuff and, and being around people who are living life like you want to live. And you end up just putting in the reps and, and doing the work and um you know, I don't know a stranger anymore. I, I, I truly believe we meet every, everybody for a reason now. And uh, just what a, what a complete 180 degree turn. It's, uh, it's just, that's why I still, I'm still in disbelief. Like I, I done, I done broke out of it. We're good, but I still look, I still remember what that was like. And so, um, you know, for anybody who might be listening to this, you know, if you want to talk about that or need help with that, then shoot, reach out, we'll, we'll have a conversation. Like it's, it's possible to, to, to change, you know, from a social anxiety person, a little bit more outgoing. I mean, you, you make it sound almost quite easy, but, but I mean, that you're talking about kind of almost years and years of dealing with this, this, uh, sort of, um, trait, you know what I mean? And, and it, so, yeah, like, it sounds like, oh no, I just went and chatted to this bloke, but I can't believe it was necessarily that easy. You must have, must have taken a lot of courage and I don't know, like some other sort of things to, to actually get yourself out there. It, it is. It's sort of, well, it is and it isn't. It's, it's mission related. Like that day on that playground, it became my mission to not pass this trait on to my kids. Right. And the same way it became my mission, the day my, my son was born, like a light switch clicked in me and it just became my mission to give 
my kids the biggest shot at success in this life that I possibly could. You know, I'm here for them. I'm their role model. I'm the guy that's supposed to be, you know, forget about like schooling. I'm the guy that's supposed to be teaching them how to be a good human being. Right. And so um, if I wanted to give them every possible opportunity and good piece of advice and, and be a role model, I had to change me. You know, I, I've actually, I've heard it. I've heard it said that, um, you know, your kids will bring out the best in you. And I think that's absolutely true. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's, it was really, it, it was a small mindset shift, but it was big in that it, it became a mission to, to make these changes. And it, like I said, it wasn't overnight. It was a lot of, a lot of reps, a lot of talking to people. Um, a lot of, a lot of people, you know, they, somebody said that your, your social anxiety doesn't have to define you. You know what I mean? And, and that, that, and it was someone on Twitter or someone in the men's group or something like that, but that, that's when it really rang true to me. I'm like, oh gosh, I've had this thing for so long, but it doesn't have to be my future. Like so, so often we we think that this is just our personality trait. Oh, this is just the way I am. And I'm here to tell you, like, I mean, maybe there's things about me that I don't even know I need to change or incapable of changing right now, but I'm just here to tell you and, and your audience that man, you know, you don't there's things you could have pegged as hardline personality traits that you know, we, we can change if we want them bad. If you make that your mission and are willing to put in the reps, you can, you can make that change.